Hello, everyone. I'm cooking Sunday dinner today, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. I'm finally going to make Bruce meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs. He's been wanting that for a long time. I have my sauce out of the freezer. And, uh, yeah, it fell out of the freezer. <laughs> so let's get started here. I got some ground beef, and I'm going to get... I have some pork... I have these sausages. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or, but I'm going to take them out and mix them with the pork. I just can't stand sausages that look like this. Don't ask me why, but I'm going to mix it with the pork, with the beef. Let me get started on that and I will be back. And I got lots of garlic to chop up. Okay, guys, so I got the sausages out of the casings, and I um, mixed it in with the ground beef. So what I'm going to do here is, oh, I need two eggs. Two eggs. I'm going to put two eggs in here. Okay, this is a mixture I made in the summer of uh, things we've grown in the garden. So this is Italian. It's a parsley, basil, and then I, uh, instead of throwing the tomato skins away when I made my sauce, I dehydrated them. So this is, tom uh, this is parsley, basil, and tomato. So that's going in there. A little bit of that. Okay. I'm going to put some onion powder. Definitely salt and pepper. Okay, then I'm going to do garlic. Powder. And then garlic plus. Look into that. Okay. Breadcrumbs. Seasoned red crumbs. About uh, half a cup. Oh, it smells Italian already. This is the real stuff, the Parmigiano. It's in this because, you know, I got it at Romano's, the Italian store. You got to keep this shit in the fridge, okay? This is the real shit. <laughs> We're going to put some of that. Forget about that garbage stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll be putting more on that in our sauce and stuff. So I'll just leave it out here. Okay, so we're going to give that a mix and to make our balls. Let me go mix this up and uh, shape our balls. I got this uh, scooper. Scooper I have, I love. I use for cookies, but I'll use it to make meatballs. Bruce has been wanting spaghetti and meatballs forever. And I just haven't done it. I don't know why, but today is the day. 
Yeah. Now don't mix your meat too much because you'll uh, bruise it. <laughs> okay. Let me get a plate to put these meatballs on. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to put some garlic in there. Homegrown garlic. About that much. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this. Get in there. We're going to cook the meatballs in oil and then a little bit of garlic. Yeah. Let me come back when I got the meatballs done. Just a scoop. And a roll. Yeah, I'll be back. I gotta get myself a plate. Sorry. Okay, Bruce got me a plate. I'm just gonna put them on the plate. Mama Michelle, making me meatballs. La 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 la. You know any Italian songs, huh? <laughs> Not really, but I can sing Italian. <laughs> Me oh my oh me oh me me oh me show mm -hmm. make a meet the baller for the me oh <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon in no ni na ni no ni na na one for your na no one for your knee no me no me no me no baller on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> okay, we will, <laughs> we will, we will, we will be back. We'll put you. <laughs> we'll stop. <laughs> We'll save you from listening to us. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to put these in the fridge to, like, uh, firm up a bit. Can I get you to do that, Bruce? What do you want me to do? Put them in the fridge. This leftover here, I'm going to cook it up. And uh, I'll put it uh, in the freezer. And uh, we can put this on pizza. Meet the body! <laughs> I don't want to overdo our meals because it's just like something like this, Bruce. There's only two of us eating it. So I just want to make it enough for two days. And then, because uh, I can overdo cooking a lot. Yeah. Oh, really? So uh, I'm going to cook this up right now. I didn't know. Instead of putting it on pizza, I'm going to freeze it cooked and I'm going to put it in. Save it for my uh, sauce when I make like a goulash or uh, penny noodles with my sauce to put in. Yeah, because we like, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be a, a, a smart way to have sauce on hand, to have meat on hand to put in my sauce when I make like a penny dish or even lasagna. Yeah. Yeah. I'm low on the sauce. We gotta make more sauce next year. You are year. low on the sauce. Hey, hon. Yes, we are low on the sauce. We gotta make more sauce next year. Yeah, we gotta grow more. When, a, when two peppers come to five dollars, it's time to <laughs> grow big. Yeah. Yeah, Jeez, both of us can't fit through there. <laughs> okay. For my sauce, I make it stretch. I use this here. I get this at Costco. It's pure tomato. I use this for my chili or, uh, yeah, usually for my chili when we make chili or I add it to my sauce. So I'm going to add in some of this. What? Make sure I've got the right burner on because I'll... Oh, see? I almost toasted the, the donuts. <laughs> you almost toasted your donuts? Almost cooked them back what there. A little bit of plastic fire? Yeah. That would be something Michelle would do. Yeah. <laughs> so. <sighs> 
Let's put, I think I'm only going to put about half in there. I can add more because it'll be in the fridge. You better not do, you better do that and I want my shelly. I don't want to make big, big, big. I'm, I'm terrible at doing that and I've gotten better. I've actually gotten better. Think of another life you were Italian. Because how when you make meals, make big. You make a big meal. And people I know that were friends that. It's okay though because half the time I freeze half of yeah, it, and, and we eat it for two days. And so that's it, a day you don't have to cook. Yeah, so it goes a long way. So I'll be back once I get this going and get this meat cooked up. Okay guys, there's the meat sauce and I'll put that in the fridge with a lid that says meat sauce. This wipes right off when I wash them, this marker, and uh, I can reuse it. But I'm going oh, to leave the lid off to let it cool before I put it in the freezer. But I get these on Amazon. You get a ton of them at a good price and they come in handy so I'm just gonna let that sit with the lid off okay over here I have the olive oil and I put my garlic and I'm just going to cook these meatballs up into into that that garlic will infuse them and oh it's gonna smell wonderful in here it already does I got my sauce there, and oh, that smells wonderful. If only you could smell. Beautiful. I'll bring you back when I'm turning them around or flipping them over, the meatballs. There we go. Okay, the meatballs are pretty much done. If they're not done, it's okay because they'll cook in the sauce. I'm going to put them in the sauce and I'm going to simmer the sauce for about 45 minutes. And that will get the uh, meatballs that if they're not cooked, that'll be taken done. So just throw them in your sauce. Let me get them in the sauce and I'll get them over here on this burner that works actually and we'll get them simmering. Okay see how I have a nice gentle simmer like it's just a couple bubbles. We're going to leave that like that and stir it every little bit for uh, 35 to 40 minutes. We're going to make um, these are apples we Bruce and Nate picked in the summer. We can make some apple something. I don't know what yet. You'll have to stay tuned to see. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to make some red lobster biscuits. Then I can warm them up later. I decided to try this cheese. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's the best cheese I've ever, ever had in my life. I got it from Costco. I never really, that lady was right. I never bought it because I don't know why that guy's on there. It just look weird. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh yum. Amazing. Mmm. I can't say enough about this cheese. Give it a try if you go to Costco. Mm hmm Okay. This way. Oh my God, that cheese is wonderful. 
This way Nate will be able to have some biscuits too tonight. I love this Red Lobster mix. So easy. Pack of Red Lobster mix and some cheese and uh, three quarter cup of water and that's it. It's all you need. Oh, I love cheese. I'll reuse that. I've been thinking about red lobster lately. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, I'd love to go to red lobster. Yeah. After this, I'm going to make a salad. That'll go nice with spaghetti and meatballs. Yes. That's all you do with this mix. Just mix it with cheese and water. And you have yourself a biscuit mix. I love it. I'm going to go get these in the oven and get our salad going. I don't have much to put in a salad, but I'm going to see what I can find. Yeah. I'll make them smaller. Nate's always said, Mom, you make them too big. <laughs> I make everything too big. <laughs> There they are. I'm gonna let them cool for a minute, then we'll dip them in the butter garlic sauce. Okay. I melted garlic butter. <laughs> and I'm going to put the red lobster seasoning in it. Give that a mix. And then dip my dip my buns in there. I'll put them in here until it's dinner. Then I'll warm them up. Gotta love red lobster biscuits. Oh, I wanna go there, have some Crab, lobster, yum. <laughs> My mouth is watering for that. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. And then we're going to make a salad. Okay, you guys. My mama gave me this pie plate one time. I'll never, ever give it away or, you know. My mama gave me that. <laughs> what I'm making here is uh, I have some apple pie filling in the freezer and uh, I'm just going to make my mama's recipe for her crumble topping for her apple pie and uh, that'll be for dessert. Now I'm telling you guys if you get a chance where somebody said come pick some apples for free go do it in the summer in the fall 
if you can get it free. I'm telling you, this in the freezer, they're amazing. Yes, absolutely amazing. I, they were free. And I use them in my oatmeal. I, I'm going to make some dessert with them. And all winter long, we have apples to do things with to make dessert, especially oatmeal. I love apple cinnamon oatmeal. Mm. I made it, and a couple of you made it when I showed you how to do it, and you loved it. Oh, you guys got to make that. I'll make it again. I just don't have any milk right now. So let's get started making this crumble topping. And we'll get this in the oven and it'll smell wonderful in here. Okay, so we're going to do one cup of flour. I think that'll be good enough. The flour I have in my container here. Yeah. I'll have to fill it up. Not today, though. <laughs> Three quarter cup of brown sugar. One quarter teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And a little extra for love. <laughs> okay, that's it. Mix it up. We're going to crumble this on top. Cook in the oven. Probably around... Mm, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put half a cup of butter in there. This is just um, some uh, butter with no uh, unsalted butter. I'm just going to use this. Wait, that might have garlic in it. Yeah, that... Hold on. Okay, now, now I'm going to... Half a cup of butter. This is unsalted. You can use salted. You don't have to put your salt in if you're using salted butter. And it's over a half, but I'm putting it all. I'm not just going to... I don't know. Maybe I better not. Okay, there's a half a cup of butter. Just cut it in little tiny, you know, squares. Throw it in your flour and brown sugar You look so professional. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll save this for another day. I'll put it in the fridge in that little cup I have here. Okay. Clean up, crew. <laughs> Give it a mix. Just like that. And we're going to get this on top of our apple. Taste it already. Forty minutes at three, no, four, four hundred. I'm gonna keep an eye on it though because my oven cooks faster than what are, what the ingredients always, what the instructions always say. Okay, let's get that in the oven. Okay. Okay, we're going to go eat and enjoy this Sunday dinner and we'll let you know how it is. Then we'll come back for dessert. That spaghetti and meatballs were, was delicious. We're going to make Bruce's lunch or dinner. 
for ter for his work tomorrow. He's got to go to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna make his lunch tonight, and then it'll be ready for him when he goes to work tomorrow. I'm gonna do some spaghetti. And the meatballs. Parmesan on top. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, then. A biscuit. I'm going to break his biscuit in half, one for each side. There's his. And then we're going to give him some apple sauce. These are really healthy containers, but they darn well don't work. Very good. Okay, hang on. It's our canned applesauce. These canning jars for your husband's lunch work perfect. If you buy a case of them, nothing leaks. Like you can put fruit in there and it won't leak all over his lunch pail. You could put pudding like uh, or jello. Hear that? That suction. <laughs> it's a little chunky, but it's good. Mm, I'm gonna make some uh, during the week. Make some uh, muffins. Not muffins. Yeah, muffins. Applesauce muffins. Okay. Oh, I put the wrong lid on that, didn't I? And then he can just grab some chips to bring with him. And uh, whatever else he wants to put in his lunch. It's ready for him for tomorrow. Okay. What I'm going to call this is... Um, Pilus, a uh, pilus crust. What? What am I gonna call it? A pie without a crust. <laughs> yes, it's fine. It turned out wonderful. It's kind of like um, a pie, and it's kind of like a. Uh, oh, look at that! Yum. I'm gonna show you this, you guys. Look at all that goodness down there. See all that goodness in there? Look at all that. Yum. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a pile of crust. That's what we're going to go with. A pile of crust. Yeah. That looks 
magnificent. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. I wish I just had vanilla ice cream, but I don't. I've had this ice cream forever. It's coconut. Pineapple coconut. I'm just going to put a... Uh, <laughs> Almost sent it flying. A little scoop on top. This is this is magnificent, you guys. I'm telling you, if you can get your whole, your hand on uh, some free apples and uh, get them in your freezer. Oh, that's magnificent. Better than pie. Ooh. Oh, let's go get have Bruce ha taste test. I can't find my words. Let's go have Bruce taste test this. Beautiful. Oh, yum. Okay, Bruce is going to taste that. <laughs> oh, my freaking God. <laughs> oh, my God, eh? Oh, my God. Wasn't it worth it picking those apples, hon? I thank you. I thank you for picking those. I thank you for making such a <laughs> great dessert. We're going to go have our dessert. I'm going to hopefully finish my puzzle. And we'll see you guys soon in the next one. 10 out of 10 for that dessert. Oh.